Good morning to you on this uh, overcast. Um, just looking at the satellite here, it's going to clear after lunch by the looks of things, if it will. I'm not a meteor uh, person, but uh, meteorologist, but uh, should clear in the afternoon, definitely. Anyway, last Saturday I told you we were on a road trip. Uh, don't know where to go this Saturday, by the way. I'm still making that decision as to where we go on the uh, the ongoing road trip. Um but uh, we um, ended in Ballinasloe and we walked the town of Ballinasloe and it's in absolutely mint condition, I have to say. The paths, the roads, uh, the harbour, the shops, um, everything has been painted. Uh, I mean, a lot of the premises have been painted, uh, really and truly. And uh, so well done to all involved in it. But I'm joined by Colin Croffy from Ballinasloe Life. And what he's doing is he's... Uh, He's kind of brought the whole thing together in this uh, edition of Balanced Low Life. And last Friday morning when we were in the, uh, this day week, when we were in the Galway Rowing Club, indeed, um, the Thorst, uh, Leo Radko came in to us for, for an interview. And prior to the interview, he was telling me about the wonderful trip that he had uh, to Balanced Low. And that features in Balanced Low Life as well. Um, but, uh, Colm, good morning to you. Good morning, Keith. Uh, Balanced Low is looking absolutely brilliant, so it is. It really and truly looks superb. And certainly the, the blue skies and the Azores high helped <laughs> in the last few days. Uh, to be fair to, to Galway County Council, who I suppose uh, underpinned the investment in the business premises owners and the um, uh, the retailers uh, on the main streets of the town, they provided a very significant amount of grant aid to, I think it was 99 businesses, to uh, subsidise or to, to grant support the uh, face lifting and painting. I suppose it was only fair given the amount of disturbance and um, uh, dislocation that the town centre had suffered for the three years of the big dig while the, the town forfeiture scheme was being put in place but it is looking as you said in mint condition now it's a credit to, to, to the partnership of the county council and uh, the business people on the principal streets uh, of the town which is, which is wonderful to see. You know? I was kind of afraid last uh, Saturday evening to pull up indeed and just look in a shop window in case the fellow arrived with a paintbrush uh, to paint me <laughs> because I mean even uh, I say Sean Fletcher painted the place three times and I forget the name. It's a lovely pub. It's not the, oh God, I'll forget it. A beautiful pub on the main street there. And it's they're, done. They're, to they're all lovely. There's, a, there's Grenham's pub, there's Galan's Hotel, and of course there's the uh, Gurry Inn as well. So it's quite done, a few pubs. <laughs> done, <laughs> they've, done all, they've, they've all got a rub of the roller. Done within it. I, I'd say there wasn't a painter to be had from Dublin to Clifton. Uh, that they were all. Well, we have a, we have a little piece, uh, profile piece on David Keary, who was one of the local painters. A variety of them were involved, of course, but uh, D- David seemed to have uh, been uh, contracted to do a number of premises, and uh, we, we we've got some quips and, and quotes from him, which which is is good. And of course, we also have a little feature on um, Dermot Connolly, who's three terms in the council was elected unanimously uh, municipal district chair uh, there a couple of weeks ago, and that brought, I suppose, a significant amount of uh, achievement to him and to his family. Yeah. And there's been a lot of good, uh, good groundswell of, 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 of good sentiment towards that. It won't change and, him, though, uh, to be honest. He will always be Dermot. Dermot is Dermot. <clears throat> and, and, and why would we want anything other than Dermot to be Dermot, I suppose? Yeah. Um, there's uh, our new bus stop down around, the, as you mentioned, the harbour. Beautiful. And that lovely. whole area is going to be the fulcrum point for our visitors and tourists, and it's now going to become the transportation hub. All the CityLink and Bus Air and, uh, schedule stops will be arriving and stopping uh, down there, and the councillors voted uh, a Part 8 uh, motion at their last meeting, and uh, it's green light for that, which is great, and it'll be uh, special uh, needs, and there'll be two nice new modern bus shelters under which will, and lots of new lighting, which will allow and provide for comfort, which, which, which uh, is good. But it's not that far from the main street, you can walk up, so you can, and yeah, uh, I, it's a I, very, I it's a very walking-friendly to town, so it is. It is. There's, there's a very nice pedestrian feel emerging to it, and it's got a very uh, small uh, footprint for a town centre, which is is, is, is great has, yeah. for residents and visitors alike. To be fair, yeah. No, I did. I, I, suppose, I, I didn't see Mr. Galan out cleaning the windows. He obviously had done that early in the morning. Uh, possibly. Uh, well, Thomas and Caroline, uh, they opened their outdoor catering operation adjacent in the in the yard of, of the hotel a couple of weeks ago to, to rave reviews. And like so many in Ballinasloe, Slow, uh, they have um, commenced. Uh, to, last night was 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 DD night for a lot of public in the town, where they started their their, their indoor operations. And uh, most of the restaurants are now up and running uh, indoor and out as well, which is great to see, uh, yeah. because of course that's all, always badly needed in our town centres. Now you, you've, um, we you've have lo- good news on our. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, no, you've loads more within it. I mean, you've, you're looking at electric cars, the new refurbished um, credit union banking hall there, uh, yeah. but also you've uh, three profiles as well. 
Well, it's amazing the amount of, of, of talent we seem to unearth in, in our editions. But um, uh, there are three significant uh, women who have done wonderful things in the field of culture and communications. So we've profiled them all. Uh, Amy Doherty, the Brackenia lass, who is a um, uh, famed composer in, in California now, yeah. has scored the uh, the movie Spirit Untamed for, for DreamWorks. So we did a feature profile on her and her, her unique role in that. Uh, Amy Croffey from Killier Castle uh, worked through the pandemic in her home uh, place of Killier as a CNN senior journalist and she's moved to London in the last few weeks. Uh, so we profiled her. And uh, of your own parish, Valerie Hughes is a matinee girl and Valerie has profiled, kindly profiled with us, her <clears throat> her involvement with Solid AFM and her role as a presenter and how she got involved in some encouraging notes for people who might want to have a think, given that it's... it's um, the leading search results are only four or five weeks yeah. away and people are making decisions about what career to get into. So we're very blessed to have, I suppose, an array of quality individuals like that who are working. Three, three talented. Valerie, Amy, is Amy any um, relation to your good self, Colin? Uh, I think a third cousin twice removed. Or one of, one of oh, those. that's okay. As long as we've got a relationship with CNN senior journalists in London, we'll be, we'll, well, hello. We'll, we'll be needing them, yeah. Um, you uh, also look at... To her. Hmm? Sorry? Cool. She was a big, a big help to her mum and dad in running Crawford Garrett Machinery out in the Hasker as well during the pandemic, I believe. And she wasn't just doing, doing the, the journalism work all the time. <laughs> no more than Valerie, multitasking right across the board. Indeed. I know Sean Dignan writes for you and you look at books and all of that, but um, that that's in Balanced Soul Life. But I mean, it, it you've, you've put a lot into it, so you have, and there's good reaction to it as well. So with the beautiful town that you now have, the beautiful production that you now have, where can people pick it up, Colm, can I ask you? Well, as of this morning, over 6,000 copies, 7,000 copies are being delivered to all the post boxes uh, and residences and apartments within the, within the old urban area. And there will be copies available at uh, Dolan's uh, Central Station in Kilgarov, in um, Carraboyle in Brackenia, in the Credit Union Building, and in Golan's and in the different hotels around the town centre, mm. and of course, Salmon's is at Main Street. And is, uh, is, is life returning to a little bit of normality within the town now, now that the big dig is gone, now that you're painted within an inth of your life? Sorry, move away, there's the fellow with the roller behind you, I'm told. Um, and um, is, is life starting to kind of come back to normal, Colin? What for me personally has been a huge Philip is to just see the actual sports reports coming back to us again of the clubs and the different sports activities underage and, and different levels and the photographs of people you know taking part in matches because mm. that was the saddest part of the lockdown was that you know young people and, and people just involved in sports and involved activity couldn't get out and do what they love doing so that's all back so I think there is but it's a new normal Keith we're not fully to back to where we were pre yeah, twenty nineteen no, and I don't know if we're ever going to get back there to that place. But it's it's better than what it was. And I think everyone is is trying to be more accommodating of each other in that mix, you know? It is well. Sure, look at. I mean, it's 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 difficult uh, times in there. But I would I would urge and we've urged people right through this pandemic, by the way, uh, to shop local and stay local. And now that you've got a, a wonderful town yet again back uh, to normal, indeed in in uh, Banlaslow. I'd urge people just to go and have a walk around like we did last Saturday. Uh, park up the car, go for a walk. We parked up at the church, came down past Fletcher's, then down along and up and down the main street and over to the uh, harbour and all the way back up as far as Port Uncle and around uh, the green there. And it's, it's just beautiful and it's, it was quiet, I'll say and that much, but it was beautiful. We we regularly feature a wee map, a historical walk on the inside lap of the magazine <clears throat> and Barry Lally, our regular uh, heritage correspondent, typically writes about some features to do with the area and there's a nice piece on the Irish House where the AIB is now in this magazine and also I suppose just for anyone that would be visiting Man Slow, we uh, were present at a launch of um, a very significant book for visitors and for residents alike I suppose Horry Lines, is I think you had him on your show there a couple of days ago he authored the Rediscovering Man Slow and Surroundings which is sort of a, a potpourri of different buildings and different heritage uh, activities zones or places uh, that people can walk, cycle and meander or drive to which would be handy for people who are just taking a first visit to Banlaslow and the little necklace of wonderful villages that we have around us. Listen Colin, keep up the good work and uh, well done to um, those that you've profiled, well done to Sean Dignan but well done to our own Valerie Hughes indeed, Amy Croffy and Amy Doherty as well. Uh, I think there's a, there's, a, there's a girl band of the three of them, they should work remotely <laughs> and come up with it.